Right, we're going to do a wee quick experiment this morning. This is impulse. Impulse causes a change in momentum. What we're going to do is we're going to take a metal cue. We're going to hit a metal ball, which is sitting on a metal track. We're going to measure the time of contact with this little timer here. So we need to set this up so that it's going to measure a very fast time. Enter. Oh, we're ready. This ball, when we hit the metal ball with the metal cue on the metal track, it's an electrical circuit, so the time of contact will be measured electronically. Go and ready. The ball's going to travel along, go through this light gate, which is connected to this second TSA computer. So we need to tell this little computer here, we want it to measure speed. The speed of the ball going through the light gate, so we set it to measure speed. I also need to tell it that the diameter of the ball is five centimeters. So the thing that's going through the light gate is five centimeters and going ready. So both these TSAs are waiting. We're going to hit the metal ball on the metal track with a metal cue, measure the time of contact, and then measure the final speed of the ball through the light gate. Here we go. Okay, here's the results. Time of contact, 2.23 milliseconds. That was the time that the queue was in contact with the ball. Speed that it went through the light gate, 0 0.71 meters per second. Now we can use those measurements to calculate the force that the queue exerted on the ball. Here's how we do it. Here's our equation. Ft equals mv minus mu, the impulse equals the change in momentum. The initial momentum of the ball was zero because it was stationary, so mu disappears. So Ft equals mv, we can rearrange that. We get F equals mv over t, there's our results, and there's the force on the ball. Marvellous.